you're listening to Start Me Up with Roisin Nicleric. And you're very welcome back to the Start Me Up Business Programme here on Community Radio Kilkenny City 88.7 FM, your only community radio station here in the heart of Kilkenny. On the line now, I have Kilkenny City's County Councillor David Fitzgerald. David, you're very welcome to the Start Me Up Business Programme. Good afternoon, Rosine. Delighted to be part of your show. Uh, thank you, and we appreciate you taking the time to come on and speak to us today as well. David, you know, if this is the first day of reopening, and we're going through the second phase, but it's the first day of many of the shops in the High Street and within the town, Patrick Street, uh, Rosine Street, and John Street, and many other of the surrounding roads and streets around the High Street and the core centre of the city. It's a really big change here economically, and it's about rebuilding our local economy isn't it now going forward it's a very exciting day to start with that we have uh, we're back to work i mean it's a bit like being back to school um it's going to take a little bit of time to just to readjust to um to the new normal but it's a really important day from from the point of view of jobs and in terms of the service for people in our city uh, as you know we have over a thousand people employed in in retail and, and similar services in kilkenny city center so that's uh, you know that's the equivalent of a, of a very large factory uh, here in Kilkenny. Um, it accounts for a huge uh, spend in terms of the local economy, and um, it, uh, it it provides the kind of the heart and soul to our city. So it's it's really important that we get back to some level of normality. And there have been, I suppose, a lot of steps taken to make sure that we can do this and, and do this safely for from, from the customer's point of view. And also doing it safely, as we spoke about earlier on, about the restart grants and opening safely with all the Deegan. And now it's also really, it's about everybody shopping locally, supporting local businesses, and really just everybody looking after one another and supporting jobs as well locally here in our city. Well, as, as your listeners will be aware, uh, before we had the COVID-19 pandemic, um, I had been instrumental in establishing the City Centre Task Force, and that was purely about trying to um, put a forum in place to, to support uh, jobs and business within the City Centre, because there was a there was a, 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 a feeling among the public that the Kilkenny City Centre was in decline. And obviously, the, the task force is up and running, and that's a positive step. But now with the pandemic, it has been a further hit to, to the city centre. And, and I know a, a significant number of smaller businesses, particularly, which won't reopen after this, after this period. So it's more important than ever that we shop local and we support local. But also, I suppose, it's, it's challenging for, for the... The, the retailers, they have to ensure that when they do reopen that they're able to provide both the quality and service and, and, and the product range that, that their customers need. So um, this is going to be very challenging. We have to be we have to be supportive if we want to see Kilkenny continue on as the fabulous city centre that we have. But we uh, the, we all have to step up to the mark and, and, and support our own and, and that includes the retailer themselves. And David, it's, it's all about pivoting our business and repositioning our business and reinventing ourselves now going forward, isn't it? And changing to, and adapting to the challenges that are ahead. Well, one of the things that we look, we've all have, have learned to do over the last while um, is if shops weren't open, we, a lot of, we all bought things online. I bought things online. I'm sure other, most of your listeners have as well. Um, and, you know, there is a certain familiarity now with online that wasn't there even before COVID-19. Um, but now we also need to ensure that we don't forget about our city centre and we forget about our broader retail sector, not just at the city centre, but right across the county, to make sure that um, those who are re- relying on our, our spend, that we return back to them and we, we put their money in, in, in their tills. And uh, I think it's going to be... Uh, we've seen... A, a lot of positive initiatives from both government and um, the local enterprise office have a whole range of actions which that which they can provide to support people and try and people get get people going again. But I don't think you can you can operate as, as a as business as usual. I think uh, everybody is going to have to become far more innovative in terms of how they do their business. And I'm hoping that we can actually see a lot of our smaller businesses finally get online themselves and be able to challenge on the net um, and, and to be able to offer the service so that you can still buy locally, but in, in, instead of it being t- collected by you, it may well be posted or it could be a click, a click and collect service. Uh, so 
I think I think a lot of the shops, if you go into them, they brought in a lot of new measures to, uh, on the shop floor to ensure customer safety. And I've noticed on Instagram, for example, if your if your listeners are following social media, uh, a lot of the shops are now advertising their their goods through short video clips um, uh, to to promote their products. So, you know, in fairness. Any retailers are, are innovators, and I hope that innovation continues on. Well, David Fitzgerald, Finnegale County Councillor for the Kilkenny City, you know, thank you so much for speaking to us, and maybe you'll you'll be a regular feature here on the Stamp Me Up Business Programme. Well, Sheen, I, I'm delighted to get the call from you today, and um, I'd love to be part of the show on a regular basis. I think uh, your, your role over the next while is hugely important in terms of uh, giving that positive message about how innovative and how strong Kilkenny is, and I think if we all stick together we'll come through this um, and hopefully we'll come through it stronger than ever before. And as a Taoiseach and the government say, we're in this together. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much indeed, uh, David Fitzgerald, and um, stay well and stay safe. Thanks, Roisin. Thank you. And that was David Fitzgerald, our, lo- our Fine Gael County Councillor here in the heart of the city. Now in studio, I have Declan Givens. And Declan, you know, we, you want to really put out there to the local businesses um, a message too, in, um, a positive message out there. Uh, first thing I'd say is welcome back to the program and it's great and I think you know it's appropriate now as as on the day that the place starts to open up a bit um yeah we are absolutely I think by by beginning the program today I think we're sending out a message that in tandem we want to help support local business and anything we can do to help get that message across and people to get their message out there because as as Dave Fitzgerald was saying there you know we have been shopping online etc and that can become too easy and I'm conscious as well for ourselves Roisin too uh, you know investments that we have to make at the station you know we have to look closer to home too and make sure that we consider and, and, and give local companies an opportunity to, to pitch for that but really really would encourage and I would emphasise too I think you know it's been a, it's been a strange time but since we went on air in October of 2017 every single ad break in and out we've said shop local shop local support your business the heart of our our city is shopping local and that is going to continue to be our message we'll, we'll jig it, jizz it up a little bit maybe but that is our message because that's what we're about we're not here to make a profit we are here to make a difference and uh, we want to make a difference to local businesses and the local community because it's been eerie uh, Roisin driving or walking up the high street or any of the streets in Kilkenny we thought things were quiet uh, in the months preceding this pandemic but it really has been eerie and we need to get life back in our community because I certainly uh, don't want to live in a, in a place where where uh, the only uh, c- interaction I have with people is is arriving with a van with a parcel from me or something like that. I don't think that's the kind of society we want. But I think the Start Me Up Business Programme and with the linkage that you do with the local authorities, with the leader programme, with the business people themselves and with the likes of the HSA, because it is a bit terrifying, you know, for organisations to reopen. But uh, it's also an exciting time. We really look forward to, to uh, seeing those businesses reopen their doors and uh, wish them all the best. And we'll do and wa- encourage people to contact us here if there's anything we can do and I'm not talking necessarily about spending money with us necessarily either because that's what we're here for and we're here actually to actually promote businesses and tell everybody and deliver that message that it is good to do business and business is still open and we're all in this together Declan we are because um, as the saying goes if we don't hang together we hang separately yes and you know community radio we're the only community radio station here in the heart of the city that's it and that's what we're about as I said we're here to uh, support whether it's businesses uh, organisations groups whatever it is and obviously uh, obviously there's a lot of things just haven't been happening and we look forward to having a lot more voices on the radio and we've got time to fill and we want to give people an opportunity uh, to come in and do that and as you've seen yourself Roisin on your first day back in studio for a long time <laughs> we have uh, put some precautions in place and we've been making other modifications so that people uh, it is a suitable place for people to come in as guests Yeah because even for me I was sort of nervous coming in didn't know where to stand what yeah, to do yeah. where to be yeah. or what to touch so yeah. it's everything everybody's sort of nervous and it's a new normal. It's a learning curve, I think, for yes. all of us. But we'll be patient and we'll just try and get it right and try and do it gradually as well. And I think we have to be patient with the retailers as well as they're they're trying to make it as, as good and as comfortable for us as, pop- as possible. Well, Declan, we've run out of time. Thank you very much Not for coming in today. Not at all. luck with the series, Roisin. Oh, thank you, Declan. And that's all we have time for today. Do stay tuned. And Nolan will be here presenting Kilkenny today. Until next week, stay well and stay safe.
You're listening to Start Me Up with Roisin Nick Lyric.